Thanks for watching Aquarium Tech today. Today we're going to do the review on the MaxiJet Pro series. I have done the review, I believe, on the MaxiJet and the EcoMod, but I don't think I've ever done the review on the MaxiJet Pro series. So it's, a, it's going to be a little bit different, so we'll get into that. But first, guys, remember, check out my stream. Uh, it's at twitch.tv slash cfl underscore Mike. And, uh, you know, feel free to ask me questions and let me know if you join in. You know, I want to know how many people are actually from Aquarium Tech. So it'd be nice to know because I want to know how this is going to take off and where I can branch out with it. So, you know, and, and, you know, be better for you guys, basically, is what I'm trying to do. So anyways, question of the day. What did you guys like better? Did you guys like the Marineland? Do you like these MaxiJet Pros better? Or do you like the EcoMod with the old MaxiJets better? Let me know down in the comments. So anyways, uh, so we're doing the review on the Pro Series. Now, the big thing with the Pro Series, I'm sure most of you know, is that it was a, it was a slightly different than the original Maxi Jets. Like, I don't think they made as many models of the Pro as they did the Maxi Jet. But the big thing is, is that the Pro here comes with essentially what was the Eco Mod. And basically what the Eco Mod did is it turned your regular powerhead impeller type pump into a propeller system. And now some of you might be asking, well, what's the difference? A propeller is basically something that blows water, and maybe I should do a video on this uh, in general, but basically a propeller blows, and it, and it usually is actually better at making current, whereas an impeller pump is probably what most of us use for most other things, and an impeller pump usually has less flow, but it has more applications to it. You know, it basically has like a stator. And with the stator compressing the water and something, and I'll show you what I'm talking about, uh, you can basically harness the power is essentially the difference. Whereas propeller, it just blows. Um, this is basically, uh, you know, the impeller system is basically something you can harness. is what you use to run your UV sterilizers, you know, your sumps, whatever. So, uh, as you can see here, I have it in the propeller system mode. And you can kind of see how it works. It basically just draws in water from the sides here and just shoots it out the front. And you can see here that here's the, the uh, impeller for the impeller type of setup and the propeller. Look at the difference. It's huge. The, the propeller is way bigger. This particular model is the 1200 model. Uh, that's the biggest one I believe, but and then they have up to a, or it goes down to a 400 model. I'm not exactly sure what the GPH ratings are. I'll put them down somewhere maybe there. Uh, but something I want to talk about too before we go any further is I actually have a 600 model too. Now, I think they have two different styles. Like, I think there's a 1200, and then the one that's below a 1200, and then the 400 and the 600 are kind of, there's, so there's like two different families, because I got my 600 one, and my impeller doesn't work, because actually, this one is broke. This does not work. It's broke. So what I tried to do is, when I got my 600, I was like, okay, well, why not just put my uh, propeller in the... Uh, 600 version. Why not? It's basically the same. Well, it's not. Basically what they did was the actual uh, thing here on the motor where the actual magnet goes in is smaller on the 600, which is really stupid. I think they did that just for money. I could be wrong, but because I think on the regular Maxi Jets it was the same. This hole right here where the impeller or propeller goes in is smaller on the 600. So then what I did was uh, I took took it apart and I actually basically just took the end cap off and then I shoved the smaller magnet on but again it's still I don't know I don't know exactly what the issue was there but it still didn't work and that's a damn shame because it's it's not like I was doing it to rip them off either I was doing it because my 1200 pump here that I had first broke so not very happy about that. I'll talk about why I think it broke in a second. But uh, I'll show you guys real quick how it kind of converts. Alright, so I did post an unboxing. If you guys want to see what it came with, 
Uh, you can. I'll, I might, I'll go ahead and go over some of it real quick. Uh, but first, let me go ahead and show you this conversion here. So I've actually already got it in impeller mode here. And you can see what I'm talking about. This is kind of like your standard power head look. The nice thing about the Maxi Jet is it can kind of rotate 360 degrees, but it also depends on what fitting you're using. Because then you can go in, you know, it has like your under gravel adapter, and then it's got your uh, standard strainer adapter here. And all the adapters work good, they're all pretty well. You know, you can hang it from the side of the tank. Uh, the only other thing that stood out to me was that the Venturi uh, thing that it came with, the Venturi valve, is actually very, very good. I, it's, I, I, I don't really use it a lot personally, but I can tell you it's a very well-designed little Venturi valve. So, at least that's the way it was for me. So anyways, ways, what you do to convert it back to propeller mode is there's, two, there's a couple indexing points on the bottom piece of this, and so you take that off, and this actually isn't the right one, but uh, at least I'm, I'm just talking about my models. I have a couple different models, like I said. So, and then so then you'll find your propeller. You just stick it in, and then you find your cover, and bam, you've got yourself a propeller system. And now, obviously, the brackets are going to be a little bit different too, because obviously, one, it's you know, it's it's going completely different directions, and so that's why they included. Uh, a lot of stuff with the brackets so so this is what you would use with your propeller type system and basically that's why it's kind of like an add-on piece because you basically take your regular uh, bracket and you go ahead and slide it in actually I'm sliding it in the wrong way slide it in up like that and then what you would do is go ahead and take it and put it on the power head or the pump rather however you want to call it doesn't slide in very easy. And that's basically, so this is basically how it would look. So it's nice that they give you those extra pieces because, uh, you know, otherwise you'd have mounting problems. And so that's why it's a little bit more than just converting it from a propeller to an impeller system. And see, this is basically how you would have it mounted. See, I, I just took that bracket adapter off. And this is basically how you would mount it with an impeller system. You just go. Just go, and there's your impeller system. So, anyways, so what do I think about all this? Well, obviously, like I said, this particular pump I have here broke on me, and that's because the what I think happened is it's because the bracket's shitty. Now, let me explain. I was using it in propeller mode uh, in my sump, and as you can see here, I'll go ahead and zoom in. Uh, my wires got all tangled up. Basically what was happening is that my uh, my pump was coming off and I had it in propeller mode so it was pretty powerful and it was pushing the pump all over the place but I was sitting here hanging by the wire so it just got all stranded up and now it just doesn't work. Like I don't know if you can see how braided the wire is. It's really bad. It does not supposed to look like that. Uh, and basically broke itself. Um, and then even the bracket I have on my 600 right now, uh, it's this, but it's cracked. It's, there, there's already a crack in it. Um, so uh, the brackets, they definitely need to go back to the drawing board. Um, the cords definitely aren't, I, I don't know what the deal with that was. It still shouldn't have broke that easily. I didn't have it for that long. I only had it for like a, you know, a, a year or two somewhere in that ballpark. Uh, and, it, and it broke with light use, you know, it wasn't. You know, I just sitting it there in propeller mode, so, uh, and it wasn't even on all the time. So I was a little disappointed with that. The brackets haven't, you know, it might not actually be the brackets fault. It might have more to do with the suction cups, but I can tell you that at least this piece of the bracket, the plastic, this is like what the bracket really depends on. The pla it's not the worst plastic I've ever seen, but it should make it should be a little bit more pliable since they, especially since they know that you're gonna be pulling it on and off with the suction cups and these brackets need to be able to be a little pliable and it's not, it's that hard plastic. Um, at least it's pretty strong, but again, it should be pliable so you can pull the suction cups off, so. I, I mean, that's my about my only gripe with it. The flows are a little low with it, um, though I will say I was surprised with the head pressure I was getting when it was in impeller mode. Uh, it actually 
it, it does push some decent head pressure, but I, I think the flow rates that they rate them for are a little, uh, let's just say I don't think they act, they're actually going that fast. So maybe on the 1200 it was, but the 600 I, I think. But, you know, I, you know, what do I know? I, I'm not actually measuring it. So I'm sure a lot of you guys are asking, with all this stuff that it comes with and with the adaptability of the pump, would I suggest it? Um, and especially the price point. It's a good price point. But um, if you're really on a budget, I might say tell you yes. But honestly, if you need a propeller system, go out and buy like a Hydor Coriala or uh, one of the Ecotechs or something like that. Um, I think your money is better spent there. And if you need an impeller system, uh, you know, you need, uh, you know, something to pump, go get a Rio or some other kind of pond pump. Uh, I think you're better off doing that. But if you're really on a budget and the adaptability might actually be of use to you, I could suggest it. But again, because it's, it's kind of turning into one of those jack of all trades things, um, I would suggest if, if you really don't need it, don't get it. Uh, anyways, hopefully that was helpful to you guys. That's the review on the MaxiJet Pro series. If you have any questions, feel free to let me know. Thanks for tuning in. Yo, if you guys want to be better with your aquariums and get the best equipment for them, check out AmericanAquariumProducts.com.